Hello everybody, I'm Blaze and Rebecca, and welcome back to Uptale, the, un the fan-made Undertale sequel. So apparently, like, like literally 37 seconds after recording some of it, it ended up shutting off right at, at, at that point. <laughs> because, like, Flowey shut off the game, basically, like always. Isn't that right, Flowey? But I'm still here, and I am going to beat you, and I am actually going to be a pacifist about it. Eee! How am I still here? You should be gone. Well, it's probably only a matter of time before you're erased forever. Oh? You think you can beat me? Hehehe. <laughs> That's funny. I've got seven human souls in all monster souls. That's equivalent to eight human souls. I'm eight times more powerful than you. You can't stop me. Not even your determination can help you now. But hey, if you want to fight, I won't say no. Are you ready? It's the end. I don't have a choice, I don't think. Oh dear lord! Oh come on, that's not... Oh dear lord! Ouch! But it refused. Can I just never die in this fight now? Ho <laughs> ho! Woo! Woo! I'm determined! Bitch! No point trying to stop me now! I'm determined as hell! This one I can I, I can handle, I can handle, maybe. Okay! Oh, 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 oh! Boom! I refuse to die! Woo! Okay! Woo! <laughs> You're not even hitting me! <laughs> Ouch! Okay, that hurt! Woo! It's like, I can't even act, so I have to fight him. I like this one because it's he's simple. Ouch! That's not nice. That is not nice. You are ni not a nice flower. Oh! Snap butt, butt, butt. I refuse to die. I cannot die now, bitch. It's not- it's the end- it is not the end! Not- not- not if I have anything to say about it! You're not hitting me! Ouch! Okay! Oh jeez! I intentionally ended up going for that without realizing- Okay! So unpredictable! Ouch! Oh, I'm gonna die in this next one. Oh wait! No! You can't get me there! You have a lot of monster souls, don't you? Oh, I figured that was gonna happen, but... It refused! Boom! I'm just never gonna die now. Ouch! That's not nice. You are not a nice flower. Ah! You are really not nice. You are not a nice flower in that. Oh! Nope. Soul refuses. Refused. Is this the end? Maybe. Is it? It's just like in the first game. In the Undertale game. Hello! Goodbye, souls. There. The souls have returned. All of your friends have their souls back. 
Alright. You got your happy ending. So you can leave now. What are you still doing here? Go back to your time machine. Don't you have anything better to do than stare at me? Just hurry up and go! Okay, he ran away. You quickly head back to the time machine. Everyone was starting to wake up. Flowey broke the barrier. Everyone's got their souls back. Everything should still be roughly the same. And since your past self also has their soul back, you won't be erased from existence. It's a happy ending once again. Alphys? Frisk, you're back! Hmm. What? You didn't get the picture of me and that, didn't I? Sorry, Frisk. But I have no idea what you're talking about. I never told you to get a picture of me and Nundine from the past. There wasn't anything, anything to take a picture of, really. Just that flower. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't accidentally change the timeline, did you? N not my fault. The game made it happen. Yeah, Alphys! I've been hearing explosions from here from all, all here all day! Why didn't you invite me over? I love explosions! You know how much I love explosions, don't you, Alphys? Uh, yeah, yeah, calm down, Undyne. And, uh, oh! Uh, hey there, Frisk! What's with the weird machine over there? It's a time machine, you should go try it. Is that a new hot fridge? Sorry, Undyne. And no, that isn't a hot fridge. It's a time machine! Frisk is officially the world's first time traveler. Whoa, really? That's awesome! Think of where we could go with a time machine. It would be so cool. Hey, I heard an explosion. <laughs> what the fuck did you do, Frisk? <laughs> huh? What's going on? Oh, hey, Sans. The explosion came from the machine over there. It's a time machine. Frisk is the world's first ever time traveler. Not the first time. Time travel, huh? Big fat fucking deal. Hey Frisk, do you mind if we have a chat in private? I need to talk to you about something. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> so, you can travel back in time now? Huh. That's cool. No, like, it's the first fucking time you've done it. Fucking asshole. <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, Sans. But uh, just give me this in mind when you go again. I've had everything taken away from me so many times. I gave up trying to go back a long time ago. But being on the surface with all these friends, this is the farthest I've ever gotten. And I'd hate to have it lose all of this. You understand, right? Of course you do. So whenever you time travel, make sure not to accidentally mess with anything. Because even the tiniest little detail can change everything. Gee, this sounds like some awful fan game about time travel. I... I wonder why that is, Sans! <laughs> I fucking wonder why! Good thing we're not in anything like that. Oh, if only you knew. Fan <coughs> game. Right? <laughs> yeah. JK, I already know we're in the fan game. Um, what? <laughs> what was that thing you sans? Oh, don't worry about it. Ah. Oh, hey, I got a text. It's from Tori. I somehow figured. <laughs> I feel he was going to be Toriel. Uh, it says that the pot is ready and that we should go over. Well, I pretty much said all I wanted to say. Just keep this all in mind, alright? Well, I've been pretty hungry. The last thing time I ate was long, long ago. A whole five minutes. <laughs> Come on, pal. Let's go. You and Sans go home. Everyone is here. As you all leave Pine and have a good time, you can't help but think about what you've done. Since you changed the timeline, you never got to meet Asriel and comfort him. You never got to feel love again, even for a short amount of time. 
When everyone leaves and you head up to bed, this thought is firmly planted in your mind. You stay awake for a while while sitting in the darkness. It seems as the room is getting dark, darker, yet darker. But soon you drift off to sleep and you have a dream. Oh! Why? Why did you change the timeline, Frisk? I, I, I never got to meet you. I, I never get, got comfort. I never got to feel love again. Now I'm stuck as a flower forever, never to feel a thing ever again. Please, Frisk, you can't help me. I... I'm so alone, Frisk. I'm so afraid, Frisk. He help me. Please help me. Phew, it was just a dream. But now you know what you need to do. You need to go tell Aphis what happened. Hopefully she'll be able to come up with something and everything will go back to normal. Uh, good morning, Frisk. What's up? What? You changed the timeline yesterday? Like, significantly or just a little bit? Uh, 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 I don't know. Crap. There is a way to fix this, though. Y you'll have to go back in time to warn past, warn past me not to use, let you use the time machine. I don't know what will happen to you, though. Since when you warn past me, I'll never ask past you to travel back in time, and therefore you shouldn't exist at all. Ah! Yeah, this is so confusing. Oh, you think? Well, no time to waste. Come, let's go. You and Alphys go inside. You reach the time machine and Alphys tells you to go in. Once inside, Alphys sets the destination time to yesterday morning before she went to go find you. The door Sam slept shut. You hear metallic clangs all around you. Oh, excuse me now. But I will be back with more. See ya!